This has been a long time coming for the families of men shot by Albuquerque police. Kim Holland talked to them today right after they heard the DOJ's findings for the first time. She's in the newsplex. Ken and Jonelle Ellis, Sylvia Fuentes, Mike Gomez, Stephen Renetta Torres, and Mary Job. There were five families at today's DOJ news conference. They wanted to hear it from the feds in person. They listened intently, held hands, and even cried as top Justice Department officials called out the highlights of their scathing indictment of APD culture. The family members told me this report gives them hope that things will change within the police department. But the journey to change isn't finished. For years, these folks have spoken up, saying that Albuquerque cops are overly aggressive and their family members didn't have to die. Today, the federal report offered some vindication. This is what I know in my heart, and this is it's spelled out, and now the world knows it. How did you take this report? I took it as a hard look at what is going on. And this report is going to conclude that there has to be some accountability now. We sat down with the family members who have not only been outspoken about APD's use of force, but whose cases have been a focal point of the DOJ investigation. See how they feel or, and see what the pivotal points are. That's coming up at 5.30. Kim. Okay, thank you, Kim. Now be sure to stay with KRQE News 13 and KRQE.com. We will have continuing coverage on APD throughout the day on air and online at krqe.com. There you can also find the full DOJ report on APD.